What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cool with Cool Kicks. Back for another collection video. We're covering running sneakers, you guys. To be really honest with you guys, don't really have that many running sneakers. I'm not really much of a runner. I do run every once in a while. I do wear most of my running shoes on a casual basis, but, but I do have enough to uh, do a little collection video for you guys. First one on the list, you guys, these are the Nike Zoom Flies. This is the, I guess, the black and white colorway. I really haven't seen this on sale anywhere. I did, I did cop these at the outlet, got them for hella cheap. I think that's kind of the only reason I had them. These do have a Lunar Lawn midsole. Uh, not the most comfortable midsole in the world, but uh, Lunar Lawn is a pretty decent midsole, kind of older technology. These definitely stand out compared to most other sneakers. Do have a whole lot of cushioning. This does have a carbon fiber plate, so it is an interesting feel. It doesn't bend that much. It, it is very structured and whatnot uh, does have does have some decent cushioning around the heel not a terrible pair of sneakers I don't wear them too much there is a little yellowing forming around the uh, plastic areas on the white sneakers kind of got that lemonade effect that does show up on the translucent material and the white material on some of the Nike sneakers but yeah not bad not bad you guys we do have some ASIC these are the ASIC quantum 360s the reason they're called the 360 gel is because it does cover 360 degrees of the midsoles with gel when I have seen videos on YouTube uh, the gel actually doesn't go throughout the entire sneakers kind of just on the outside but super comfortable um, I don't know exactly what kind of EVA they, they did use for these pair of sneakers uh, super comfortable does have a textile upper um, they just feel hella premium the only issue with these are they they are a little bit heavy the inside of the heel as well as the inside of the tongue it is all made of suede leather super super comfortable just super buttery you're not gonna get any of those annoying little cotton balls that do form from your socks I've had these for what seven eight years and they look super clean they do look super clean some of the midsoles drying up a little bit here and there but I still wear these on a regular basis uh, super super comfortable I found my first pair at Nordstrom's rack I think they incorrectly marked the price which was hella sweet got a first got a first deal there because they were so dope I had to get a second colorway of these uh, I ended up buying these I found these online for a really really good price I do love the color on this the great thing I love about this gray and gray blue and green colorway when you look at the lateral and medial sides from different angles the the color of the sneakers actually changes this one does have that uh, premium feel just like the just like the black ones super super solid deal when you talk about running sneakers and uh, you are a Nike fan one of the staples uh, of the Nike running collection is the Pegasus I started buying the Pegasus when it was the Pegasus 34 wasn't that long ago it was only a couple years ago uh, maybe three years ago uh, when the Pegasus 34 did come out super super clean um, I just love this colorway the the light blue colorway with the black and the white accent. Uh, this version does have a Lunar Lawn midsole. This does have a zoom pods in the forefront and the heel. Hella, hella comfortable. Super, super dope looking. Apparently the next year, I love the Pegasus so much, I ended up buying multiple colorways of the Pegasus 35. Uh, I believe the first one that I did get, I ended up copping online. Um, this is uh, like a turquoise colorway. Uh, super happy with these. I ended up paying $60. They were going for, I believe, 120 at the time. Just a super clean looking sneaker looks super fast on the Pegasus 35 they did continue with the Lunar Lawn midsole but they did include full length zoom air I don't really know if I feel that much of a difference between these and the 34s uh, these do get a little more narrow but they do have a wide version as well it does have a shark bin type of flavor in the back of the midsole which looks really really awesome the the back of the heel definitely comes outward so it doesn't uh, dig into the back of your heel the tongue is detached on the uh, on both of these models the 34 and the 35 gives you like a sock like fit uh, definitely snug on your feet since that is a feel that you do want when you run it does have fly wire underneath the mesh material on the top the only thing that I don't like about these pair of sneakers is that the midsole does crease like crazy after you wear it for more than two minutes but I really don't mind that since people don't sit there and look at the midsoles yeah really real big fan of these you guys um, I am such a big fan I ended up getting two different colors whenever I go to the outlet I do see these for for super cheap I was able to pick up the baby blue ones that are not available in the men's color this is actually a women's colorway got these bad boys these are size 12 which is a 10 and a half 
for men. Ended up picking these up for what, $30 or something like that. And then I was able to find what looks to be a 49ers colorway with the black, red, and green colorway. And yeah, these were hella dope. I ended up selling these for what, $30 as well, I believe. And yeah, I was super, super happy to pick these up. I think it's a size 11, but it, it fits well enough. So I, I just copped it and have worn it a few times. The, re the reason I kept picking up the Pegasus 35 is because the Pegasus 35 and the Pegasus 36, very, very similar. Um, all the, the technology and all that stuff was very similar. The features were, were similar as well. The 37 is just coming out. Can't wait to get my hands on those. That is gonna be full length React as well as have a bigger zoom pod in the front. So I can't wait to get my hands on those. The, the last pair of sneakers that I did almost forget to show you guys is pretty much my go-to runner when I actually do go run. Um, I, I ran a couple miles in these last week. Super, super comfy sneaker. Not the best looking because it is a Skecher and Skechers just aren't the dopest pair of sneakers. N not the coolest, but, but this model is hella, hella dope for running. The cushioning on this is amazing. This does feature Flight Gen technology, which is the name of the EVA that they use to make up the midsole. Uh, super, super cushiony. I believe this is used for the super long distance running. They do actually sponsor quite a few runners. It does have a knit upper, standard laces. That super dope S on the sides for, for some Skechers. The collar area is super padded. Even the tongue is padded. Super, super comfortable. Super happy to have them in my collection. That's pretty much my running sneaker collection, you guys. I think that was only like seven pair of sneakers. Don't have the craziest uh, selection when it comes to running sneakers. Uh, definitely gonna be getting more in my collection. Can't wait to get a Pegasus Turbo. I also can't wait to get my hands on a Pegasus 37 as well. I, I'm sure some of you guys are surprised to see a couple of Asics, also uh, a Skechers in, in my collection and whatnot. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, go ahead and make sure you smash that like button. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and click on that notification bell. Appreciate you guys watching. I, I should be uh, finishing up my collection video this weekend as well as early, early next week. Thanks for joining, you guys. See you guys next one. Peace. Dang. How many takes? How many takes? Always making mistakes. Uh, these are one of Nike's premier sneakers. Uh, it does cover 360 degrees of the midsoles with, with 